Hey man, are you okay? <laughs> Sedona, Arizona. It's a very beautiful and sacred place, but it's also a really popular tourist destination. And in this video, I'm going to show you some tips on how to make the most of this place using your overland rig. For those that are not familiar, I like to describe overlanding as vehicle-based backpacking. It's a piece of gear that you take with you that provides shelter, a place to carry your food, and generally a tool to self-sustain. I cope with long drives by making sure that my vehicle is packed up and ready to go. I work a shift or do an errand or whatever, and then afterwards, I will spend the day or the night driving halfway there. And then find some public land to camp out. And I know there's some of you that just don't believe you're capable of driving for a prolonged time. But I know many of you will veg out in front of a TV for the same amount of time doing nothing. Give your time some purpose. So where do you disperse camp in Sedona? Well, the answer is simple. Sedona being a tourist attraction means that there's no free camping. You're going to have to pay for it, see at a hotel, or you could camp on the outskirts. Highway 17 seems to be a popular spot. There's a national forest all around, but it's mostly hiking trail. I'm not the expert on camping in Sedona or around it. I've only been here twice, but I could share what I know. The nice thing about having a high clearance 4x4, either a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive, is that you could skip ahead on some of the hikes. As you see here, this is the trail to Devil's Bridge. You're able to skip over a mile of hiking. That might be easier if you go this way, but if you, you could just climb this, which is a wall, basically. Broken Arrow is an iconic four-wheel drive trail, and I finally got the chance to do it on my recent trip. All right, Pink Jeep Tour. Check it out, babe. <laughs> this is definitely not an all-wheel drive friendly trail. 
you'll need a lot of ground clearance. My Honda has 12.5 inches of center line clearance and about 16 and a half inches of rocker clearance, not counting the rock sliders. And these are my clearances weighed down with about 1200 pounds of gear. I felt comfortable trying to tackle this terrain, but this is a scary trail. There were times where I was terrified. I tell you, this is way scarier in person. You, you actually are going to be on YouTube once I get home. <laughs> yep, I drove my Honda Passport down that and oh gosh, I was scared. I will be doing dedicated videos for Broken Arrow and Soldier's Pass, so in the future, stay tuned. If you're lucky enough to secure one of the 12 permits per day, you could enter the Soldier Pass Trail and drive within a quarter mile of the Soldier's Pass Cave. A quarter mile doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a vertical scramble to the top. All right, grab on. Grab on in the backpack. Ready? Yeah, I am. Okay, got it. Okay. Want to take a break here? We're up here. Yeah. Right here. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right here. No, right here. Up here. Wait, wait, wait. Please come in. Watch out for that. Don't get poked. Go. Oh, you guys eating a cheeseburger up there or what? On this journey we will find Our souls begin to intertwine Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Lost myself within the fire Breaking free from my desire A heart of gold forged to inspire it's Look, oh. we're from Hawaii, so. Hold on, you, are, did you, are you guys visiting from no, Hawaii? No, we're, we're, we live in Las Vegas. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But this is uh, Apex yeah. Overland. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, How's it? Spotted. <laughs> <laughs> spotted. 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 Dude, yeah. I love this community because it's, yeah, so, it's yeah, so tight knit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So, about 30 minutes south of Sedona is going to be the Montezuma Castle National Monument. It could get quite busy there. So, I would visit in off hours and, if possible, on an off day. I know a lot of you are going to want to know how to get to this cave. This cave seems to be a bit of a secret. And even though you're able to use GPS apps to navigate to it, it's not exactly that simple. When we did this trail, about 50% of the people hiking back down could not find this cave. And I'm going to call it the Boyden Canyon Cave. <laughs> There's other names to it that are more popular, but I, I'm not going to be responsible for 
overpopularizing. Two souls colliding. We shared the pieces of ourselves. It's perfect timing now. We fueled the flames, but we're still learning to trust, learning to trust. It's never enough, never enough. Burning me up, burning me up. Don't fight the fire. Too much, too fast to burn us out. We walk the wire, love. Don't make me read your mind. I know it. Gonna push the butt. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you so much. It's like we're gonna find that, like some kind of crazy artifact of it. Yeah. This, like a boulder is gonna come dropping down. <laughs> so cool. Are you from around here? No, we're from Minnesota. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're from California. Mm. Yeah. Woo. All right, Ryan. Let's, uh, thanks for the help, man. Yeah. Thanks for saving my wife. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, we have some snacks we could give you. <laughs> Trail mix. And this is it. This is it. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Make like oh my god. Oh. Okay, yeah, do that like that. Okay, one, two, three, smile. One more. One, two, three. Hold on. Okay. Okay, that that was good. That was good. <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh wait wait oh dang it i just got the low battery warning oh that I looks so not, i'm so sorry one. like right as you were doing that can you do it one more time i'm no! sorry i'm sorry <laughs> okay do all right oh okay everyone quiet okay okay that's it Hey man, are you okay? Just oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is gonna capture a moment with the tribe. So we're actually bartering like goods, kind of like how the Montezuma people did. Wait, they're not Montezuma. Though. They're like, <laughs> yes. there's something else, right? I forgot. I, I went down to the. Did all you right, so you got a little picnic going on. We got sandwiches. How's that? Mmm, look at that. Mm, yummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little terrifying. No, no, I actually just wanted to look across the way to see how crazy that guy is and like what he had to go through. Oh, oh. Yeah. this is not safe. Yeah, no, oh, no I would die. Just sit here. Sit here. I would panic and okay. fall. It's a good view of these little huts right here. Yeah. Hey. hey, baby, have you seen these? Yeah, it's on the other side. Did you see like all these, uh, like the quick points? This is life. Uh -huh. 
so thank you very much for watching this video and following along on this adventure. Sedona is a mystical, very special place. Hopefully this video shows you how you could use your overlanding rig to get a great experience out of this place. The summer months are coming up, so make sure you don't go on one of these hikes in the middle of summer. It could get up to 110 degrees in Sedona, easily 100. And if you're not prepared, if you didn't bring enough water and you don't have enough shade, you probably could die. So just take care. Be careful. So anyways, till next time, I hope you have fun on your adventures. All right, so there you have it, Eco River 2 Pro. It's uh, the right size power station for overlanding, and at 17 pounds, it's very, very portable.